The philanthropist and Labour Party governorship aspirant on Rheumatic Okoko Ni shared with his 15 years experience in politics and 7 years of meeting the needs of the less privileged in the society through his non-governmental organization Okoko Ni Care Foundation as he has been able to understand the plight of the adult people to meet with his aspiration if given the opportunity to serve. He said the 2024 governorship election is not about a particular senatorial district but that adult people should focus more on voting a competent and technocrat who understand what governance is all about. He said despite coming from the Eastern Northeast, which is believed to be the minority district in the state, he is optimistic of becoming the next governor of Edo State. I believe that the Bene, the Isham, and the Edo North, they are on this to you know, produce the best governor that can ever lead, you know, take this Edo State. So it's, it's, not, it's, it's not about the zone? It's not about the zone now. It's, it's not okay. about whether you are Isham, it's not about whether you are Edo North, it's not about, because now it's about time we see ourselves as Edo people to make the change and create the change and come together and think about do we need a technocrat, people that believe in the future of this state, people that believe in people of this state. Some people don't even believe in our people. We need a governor who can harmonize and bring everybody to the table and get you to understand, irrespective of your language and your tribe, we can work things together. We can create a door that we believe in. We can make a change that the youth are clamoring for. We can create a system that is working. Honorable Matis Okokoni said if he is being given a chance to become the governor of Edo State, he will focus on providing adequate health care, quality education road, as well as ensuring security in the state. While we are thinking about the security, we also need to think about the welfare of the people. Who are these people? Are they hungry? Are they frustrated? If the governments are frustrated people, take for example, for me to uh, travel from Isha to Benin yesterday took me around six hours. Is that not frustrating, frustrating enough? And if you go from Isha to, if you go into that side, what is happening now? You see a trailer, bumper to bumper, they are piled up. These are goods that were meant to be delivered to certain people. Today, they don't have the goods. Maybe food are uh, part of them. So what happened to those people? If they don't have the food to eat, what happened to them? If they don't have what it takes to transport goods from one place to another, what happened to them? What about the, the, the farmer? If they don't have the, uh, the road, accessible road, to take their goods from one place to another, then what happened to the farmer and what happened to the people which are the consumer? The day issue on BTV is a current affairs program aired from Monday to Friday on the various BTV news platform. Osaogi Agwebo reporting for BTV News.